All right, Crimson and Clover, Tommy James in the Shondells version, the long version. Okay, this is six and a half minutes. So this is in the beginning where you hear the producer um, click on and say, you know, I'm just fool around, just do a thing. And it's about six and a half minutes here. Um, very fun. Um, kind of actually um, just easy this timing wise. Uh, so the chords are going to be your E. Uh, Standard tuning, no capo. We have a B. And an F sharp. Um, we will have an A. For the most part, it's those three chords and that A. Then do a, a key change uh, towards the end, which will be a C, a G, and an F. Um, we'll play that G as well. Anyways, it's such a long song, but I think this is going to be um, actually a short lesson, only because because it's very repetitive. Um, sorry for that quick cut there. So I recommend opening on this E with the bass. So they'll have the producer talking, then they'll kind of you hear stuff a little bit, but then you wait for that bass, you can hear it's the E. So you have that E. So every time after the E, it's going to be an F, F sharp. So we have E, F sharp, and then B. You strum once, then you wait for them on that. Ba -na 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 -na. That's the secret sauce of this song, okay? After every E, I'm trying to think if there's not a time, goes rather clicky to the F sharp, and then to that B, but you gotta wait on it. Wait. Ba -na 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 -na. Ba -na 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 -na. That's all it is, it's a cycle. can use that um, the voicings to help you out with that so we have that B wait on until that ba -na 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 -na. it's it's just following the music really so you just go over and that all over again you'll get a break eventually of um, an F sharp building up to an E and then we hear a lot of this bassy part um, and that's where it, -na 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 It's time seven, I believe, and then after that, you'll hear another build up with the F sharp. And that is right before the verse three of um, My Mind, Such a Sweet Thing, I Want to Do Everything. That's verse three, so. Um, yeah. That's when you hit that B. Yeah. My mind's such a sweet thing I wanna do everything So it has that cycle with that verse but um, And then at one point, once he says uh, Crimson and Clover is being that on this E You can hear, hopefully you can hear the difference between this E and this F sharp So you can hear with your ear what the play But it's on this E, they stick on this E on Crimson and Clover and you build up with the F sharp on over and over. And then you uh, hit that B. Once again, you're going to wait, and they do that cycle. Um, they do that cycle again. Na, 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 na. They do that about uh, f five times. On the fifth time, they stand the E again just for a little bit. Then they go back to that cycle. More soloing. Uh, you can hear the wah-wah. Um, then they have another E to F sharp, build up to the cycle. And I believe this uh, cycle again is going to be four times. Then they do the E to the F sharp again, another time through. It's a very long song, but you know this is your building blocks here. Um, now the final build up, you hear the little bit of the E, and then the very long build up, which is almost like 20, 30 seconds. Ah, Right, it's all gonna be on your F sharp here. 
And then that's right before the ending of the key change. You can hear like um, psychedelic kind of stuff going on here with the key change. A little bit quieter dynamically in the key change. It's, um, well, your song's in a key of B, right? So you're going from a B to a C. Um, so the key change is going to be where you find your C to G to F, back to G. Crimson and clover, over and over. Crimson and clover, over and over. Right, it's just this all over. And that's all it is. Um, so hopefully this helped. I know this song, a couple different versions, and I know Joan Jett does something totally different, but um, this is the long version. Hopefully you uh, can figure out the building blocks of it. I think the hardest thing to realize is with that B. You know, there is that B there. Um, you just gotta wait for him. You just hit it. And then, da -na 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 -na. Use the sounds around you to help you doing it on the guitar. Because again, I'm just doing it as if I'm playing along with them, and I think this encapsulates it all together. So if this did help, hey, leave a like. I'm asking for once. Leave a like if this actually helped you.